Welcome back to Ion Agriculture. I'm Britton Rucker. Kansas is one of seven states impacted by a listeria outbreak. It's a link to recall the peaches, plums, and nectarines. Now, the recall peaches were distributed by HMC Farms to stores nationwide between May and November of 2022 and May and November of this year. At least one death, one preterm labor, and 11 illnesses have been reported so far. Switching gears for any Christmas tree farm, it's a top honor getting your tree picked to light up the White House. And for one North Carolina farmer, that's become his reality. Ron Lee with WBTV has a story. For a tree grower, it's, 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 it's the top of your game. For the rows and rows of trees lining this remote farmland in Nash County, only this one tree draws as much attention as it does. And it's not because of the big bow in the front. It's easy to see the, the crummy trees from the, from the really great trees. This is no crummy tree. This tree represents perseverance and hope. And while many that look just like it remain stuck in the ground, this 19-year-old Fraser fir is headed to a very special place. This is the grand finale. Clive Church runs the Christmas tree farm bearing his name. As part of a nationwide competition, they submitted samples of their work to judges who will pick a winner to have one of their trees sent to Washington, D.C. to adorn the blue room of the White House. Now, if you think anybody can come out here and simply plant and grow a Christmas tree, it's not that easy. Take it from the owner. This is the Super Bowl of the Christmas tree industry. The church family won, beating more than over a dozen other growers. But how does one grow the perfect Christmas tree? Somebody did something special is the only thing I can figure. This tree may have had something special. It's been visited well over a hundred times in its lifetime. So do people visiting it make the tree grow a little bit bigger? That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case things didn't go well, the Grinch was on standby, axe in hand. Once cut, a crane guided by workers like a Macy's Day parade float loaded it into a truck to get ready for the big trip up north. It's the greatest honor that you can have as a Christmas tree grower because you're deemed the best grower um, by all of your industry peers. In Ash County, I'm Ron Lee, WBTV, on your side.